Welcome back to Stock Talk Trades. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It helps with the channel and you can stay up to date on your favorite cryptocurrencies. I'm a full-time day trader, so I also post day trading reviews and I'm gonna be doing more videos on that. I just don't know. I'm not very good at that kind of videos. I'm, I'm best with actually just technical analysis. So I will be posting more of that if you're interested. But on XRP, we are forming a, like, I guess it could be considered an ascending triangle if we can continue to pull up and bounce back and forth. We do have a few levels to watch out for though. And one of the levels is actually this 50% level of, it's the 50% level from the swing high to the swing low of the actual bull market to bear market. And that's that orange level. And then we have this other orange level at 116. This is the 50% Fibonacci level from this swing high to this swing low. And what this tells us is that we have to, in order for a retracement to actually become a reversal, so there's a difference. Pulling down, this is a retracement to a reversal. And let's say this is the 50% level, so it's going to be more like this. Um, that just absolutely sucked. It's more like 50% pullback and then a continuation. But if we have that pull back and then find support, that's when we could be we can continue to people also look at it as making a new as making a new low or a higher low. But I like to uh, pair it with Fibonacci retracements so I can actually see what is what's going on and what most of the traders if we're actually going to continue to pull back cuz again, this was a another a higher low but it still came down past it so that's why i like to pair it with the 50 percent and if we do pair it with the 50 percent we do have to pull up so that's going to be a strong resistance level um that we have i believe let's it's uh yeah so we have some uh points boom 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 and so we do have some resistance here um so it's gonna be a little little difficult <laughs> that we to actually crack that we are above the 21 ema which is good um we it, it is showing us signs on the four hour chart i'm gonna go ahead and move to the daily chart now um and actually see what happened we still are below that the 21 ema we touched it here and last time we were above it was actually may 19th so if we can actually close above this 21 ema that would be nice because it would also take it would take the path because i kind of like that so it would be able to bounce off this downtrend too and uh, then continue to push up and ride that EMA all the way up. If we go ahead and look at the weekly chart, again, this is the Fibonacci, Fibonacci level. We are just riding that level. And ideally, again, because this is perfect, like this is the perfect example, pull back retracement. And that could be a continuation. But if we pull back and then break up that 50% and then find support, that's how I'm, there's a more probability there's a higher probability of it continuing to go in uptrend rather than continue in the downtrend. So it's really how you, it's all about your strategy. And this is my strategy using the Fibonacci retracements and finding that price level. And again, people always give day trading hate because like, oh, you have, nobody has any idea where the fuck the stock's gonna go. You're right. I have no, nobody, I have no idea where it's gonna go. But in certain setups, I have a higher probability of knowing where it's going to go. Like, no, I, okay, let's go ahead and look at the one hour, one hour chart. Realistically, nobody has any fucking idea where this is gonna go. And let's go ahead and take a look at some Fibonacci tracements. And what do you know? It pulled back almost to the 50% level. That's almost perfect, and then kept going. So let's go ahead and do it again for here. Again, if we pull back to 89.6, that could be a good potential buying opportunity. But again, I wouldn't buy it because of this day trading rule that i have so we have the first run up if you don't catch the first run up you watch the retracement and you can catch the second run up after the second run up you have another retracement i will never go long so when i go long i'm buying shares and wanting the price to go up since i never go long after the second run up so i won't wait for another retracement to for it to go into another direction what i'll do is actually wait for a crack of the downtrend with increasing volume or crack of the uptrend with increasing volume because the buyers are going to be giving out soon. So I'm actually, so we had a lot of volume, but the buy, 
but they gave it all back. So now we could be consolidating sideways. And once we break this trend line, that's what I'm actually going to be looking for increasing volume, increasing selling volume like we did here. See, we had some increasing, like we had increasing volume to the buying and we had increasing volume here, but it didn't really do much. We kind of held that, held it and then kind of consolidated. And once we started actually increase, we had an increase in volume here and then another vo volume bar, that's when it absolutely exploded. So that's what we're really looking for when we're in the trade. And so we're not really doing H XRP anymore, but uh, yeah, I'm just covering some technical analysis for you guys and how I like to trade. But uh, love y'all. Peace.